The Trail Creek Tavern Museum is just a little north of Shady Cove up Highway 227. It was built in 1919. Loggers would park their trucks here and have beer and burgers. Now, it goes without saying you're gonna see some very cool historic relics, the kind of stuff Southern Oregon homesteaders owned around the turn of the century. But this museum stands apart. The reason? This gentleman, Russ Underwood. I'm the chairman of the board of the Trail Creek Museum and the Upper Rogue Historical Society. Russ is the type of tour guide you've always wanted to meet. <laughs> the Trail Creek Museum is all about local history, but it's also Russ's history. His grandmother bought this tavern in 1934, and Russ has spent the last couple of years turning it into a quirky place of learning. We just started doing uh, field trips for the schools. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, Russ hosted a whole lot of second graders. There's quite a few of them, probably 50, 60 of them. They don't like to listen to a lot of history. They like to touch and see, ooh, ah, ooh, what's that? And the Trail Creek Museum is just the place for lots of ooh, ha, ha, oohs. We're gonna let Russ tell you about some of the coolest stuff in Russ's own way. This is an old washing machine here. You would put your clothes in here. The water and soap, but then back and forth, back and forth. And that would wash your clothes, allegedly. They had this thing, and then I have to crank it up. And then they could play their music. And if it wasn't loud enough, you could turn up the volume. Hours of operation? Saturday and Sunday, um, 10 to 4. Well, sort of. There's a phone number on the front door. If we're not here, if we're closed, you can call anytime. And if we're home, we will come down and give you a tour. You've got to come and meet Russ. It's worth a tank of gas. Oh, one more thing. Russ loves to tell you stories about his own family of rugged Southern Oregon pioneers. And I'll tell you a quick story about that. Here's the one about the time his grandmother caught a really big fish. Well, she hooked that 38-pound salmon going around the buoy. And she'd had a heart attack two weeks before. And uh, I'll clean it up a little bit. But the captain went to grab her pole away from her. And she says, get your dang hands off my pole and give me my glycerin pills. <laughs> In the meantime, my grandfather uh, threw up his false teeth overboard. So we laughed about that as salmon swimming around with dentures. Scott G, NBC5 News. <laughs>